So, we are Castile. We are Queen Urarka to crown us because someone... Oh, did we sell our crown? Did we pawn our crown when we were out of money at one point? I think that's why we're crownless. So we, we are Queen Uraka to clown, crown us. We have consolidated Castile together. We have built ourselves up a reasonable sized army and need to continue to build that up because our goal here is to take over the whole of Spain without starting any wars. We are, of course, involved in the Iberian struggle. And we've been trying to push it down the conciliation path. Um, I suppose Thadrin. getting drunk on tea is practically possible. Uh, it depends on the tea. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for your resubscription. And Esfera, thank you very much for your subscription. And Agent, Agent Icarus, thank you very much for the follow. It is appreciated. Good morning to you all. Um, so, yeah, so we are kind of pushing for the conciliation level because it would be better for us on the basis that, you know, we're not looking to start wars. And because it gives us... We're kind of the interfaith marriages thing is really useful for us. Um, because we're going to need to take the stuff over and we're going to have to do that by marrying and getting stabby. Now, in terms of marrying and getting stabby, we are currently 52 years old. We have our daughter, Elvira, who is Norwegian. And the reason we left her to be Norwegian um, is because it means we can kind of get some nice men at arms when she takes over and then we can immediately flip to local culture. So it's not a problem. So at the moment we have um, Elvira Uraka's data of Castile as our heir. She is 17 years old, which means if we figure we're going to live till 60, probably, um, ish. Let's say we've got another 10 years. She will be 27. So we kind of need to think carefully about whether we want to start pushing to suicide ourselves or not. Do we want to start pushing ourselves into an early grave? Um, it's an option. Uh, Defizzy1 redeemed a histo fact. Uh, Defizzy, your histo fact is at Buffalo Naval Park in Buffalo, New York, which is on the Great Lakes. They have several museum ships. They have uh, the USS the Sullivans. Uh, the hat of which I am wearing today. They have um, uh, the USS Little Rock, which is a former missile cruiser. Fascinating place to visit. Um, but the interesting thing about them is they are on the Great Lakes. Those ships are on the Great Lakes. They are warships, which means that when they wanted to set up the museum, someone realized Good that they needed to alter the 1814 peace treaty with Great Britain from the 1812 war. Um, I think it might be the 1816 peace treaty. I, remember when, I can't remember when they actually signed it. It might have been 1816. But they had to alter that peace treaty that ended the war of 1812 because a condition of that treaty was that neither Great Britain nor the US would ever have warships on the Great Lakes. Anything that could be that was essentially armed could not be on the Great Lakes. So they had to amend the entire... Uh, when they sat at the museum in about, what, 1980-ish? 85? Might even have been 1990. They essentially had to amend a, a an almost 200-year-old treaty to allow this museum to exist, which I love a bit of weird treaty history, and I think that's amazing. So there you go. That's your histo fact for, for this morning. Um... Right, so, authority would be good. Um, we're on limited. We could really do with getting up to high. Because we need to be able to pass authority so that land cannot be in uh, inherited out of our territory. Um, it's going to be useful. In the meantime, though, um, we have a court event available. What court event do we have available? We're not going to click on it because we don't have any money. Let's get some money first. Um, so let's let this run on three for a while. We are apparently at a feast.
So I hope everyone has been good for the last uh, three weeks. So I was in Canada doing fun warship things. So that is why I have not been here. Which went very well. I was doing that with um, Dr. Alex Clark and Drakinifel. Um, and it went very well indeed. And I suspect we'll be doing more stuff together in the future. Which will be fun. Oh wow, this tea is... um. Very light. Hmm, tasty, but very, very light. Interesting. Uh, yes, yeah, speaking of tea, today's tea is indeed. Lift, uh, it's not actually Lift Me Up Angel I'm drinking. Did I not change that label? Excuse me, excuse me while I change my tea label. Because that is not the tea I'm drinking. And I would hate to be accused of falsely advertising which tea I'm drinking. There we go. Today's tea is Fairy Dust. It is Chinese Censure Green Tea. Cermak berries, sprinkles, freeze-dried peach, rose petals, and sunflower petals. Um, Bird and Blend seem to be trolling me slightly by sending me teas that I would never normally actually buy. Um, but they're smart in doing so. This is actually really nice. It's incredibly light. It's incredibly light with just a faint hint of peach. And the kind of the hint of the rose. So I find some teas like that can be really overwhelming. This one very much isn't, so I do recommend it. If, if you like tea but don't like overpowering teas, really good. And yes, if you use the tea link below, um, they will send you some free stuff. And also, I will get uh, a slice of how I'm about to spend, so it's well worth it. Right. So we are in a sort of bit of a quiet consolidation thing. We need to get some money up. I think we definitely need some money up pre-inheritance. We're not badly off for soldiers. We might have an issue if our anyone near us kicks off. I'd kind of like to get us up to 10,000 because then we're pretty much unbeatable. I'd also like to get us a holy order as quickly as possible. Like that would be really useful. This conciliation has still got a reasonable lead. Which is good. And we have managed to nudge that along. So we have been nudging along the conciliation side of things. Um, now the question becomes, do we marry... Do we marry Infanta Elvira off? She's going to be 27-ish unless we accelerate our death. Anyone we can kidnap and convert. We don't necessarily need to do that, but we could do it to marry and get things. Like, he is his primary heir. I mean, why murder when you can interfaith marriage? Now, if he was to have an unfortunate accident, which is totally doable, Totally doable. That's going to get us a nice bit of territory down there.
uh, consolidation and that one after it kind of sucks if you want to create a sin uh, this like, like single ruler Iberia because at least one of them permanently disallows creating Empire of Hispania um I mean we're mostly doing it for the for the stuff but it is worth watching I think we probably want to go with this one and then we want to push it back onto the next one for the final one. Because the issue with this one is that's the point where we lose interfaith marriages. And I think if we want, we want to push it on conciliation, but then violently bring it back. I think. Passing through my court, I notice an unrecognized face approach me. My most implacable liege, I am Maya, former courtier of your steward, Count Fernan. He has asked me to prevent myself before you and partake in your court. I think we're going to go with you've been marked for death. Flee while you can. No one sends people to my court unless they're plotting against me. No one sends uh, sends people to my court in this. Uh. Wait, does she now actually show up as dead? Disappeared without a trace. Nice. Perk. We do apparently have an available perk. Twice schemed. Thank you very much. Low chance of abduct on you, but we're pretty certain we will be able to murder you. So we'll take Schema. We're not in a huge rush to kill his other kid. Uh, yeah, I'll go to a feast. Yeah, I, th I think that's the thing. I think we'll wait until we build up some cash for agents. So we will push this onto four. Yeah, we're clo closer to forming a friendship with the lady with the silly hat. I'd quite like us to boost our income. I'm not particularly happy with our income at the moment. What are we up to in terms of this? He's increasing development in Burgos. That's fine. Uh, give me some control increases in places. We really want to get hold of Santiago. That's the thing we want to get hold of. It belongs to our vassal and friend. Maybe we should just continually kill her daughters. What's the line of inheritance on Santiago? Yeah, I'm not in it, so... I'm going to keep going to these feasts because we might get fat. Fat would be useful because it would make us die quicker. What are we like on men at arms? We've got a bunch of horses. We've got way too many horses. But we're going to get Norse units shortly. So I think we'll increase our archer's size while we can. And then we'll build cash up again. Yeah, I, I, yeah, basically, it'll over time it will gradually get rid of characters, um, which is quite useful in a way. It does benefit kind of game speed. Um, well done, you learned Basque. Good for you. Given that this is going to be our first inheritance, I do think people liking us would be good because it would be a smoother inheritance. Um, let's see what this event is. Uh, all of a sudden, Archbishop Raymundo and my courtier Elvira, which would be my daughter. No, a different Elvira. Why it offends God, it must be avoided. Give over. Uh, 
Uh, why are we swaying her? I mean, she likes us now. There's no reason to swear. Oh, wasn't she being really troublesome? We can demand payment from Count Rodrigo. Thank you. There we go. That's what we wanted. Well, does she like us again? Yeah, she doesn't hate us. Uh, inspired person, is it a good one? His skills are legendary. We would like to recruit you, sir. And we will absolutely sponsor that when we can afford it. Have we already got a... She is our antiquarian. Would he be a better antiquarian? No, apparently not. Fair enough. I'm not sure why her husband's in prison. I assume she imprisoned him. I would guess he was cheating on her or something. Uh, yes, I will become an interloper at that point, but I think we can fix that relatively quickly. Oh, no, I don't think I will become an interloper because technically we'll hold territory. If you hold territory, you're not an interloper. But we'll see. It's part of the fun of testing the different elements of the struggle mechanic. Someone's trying to kill Gonzalo. Oh, no. Are we really worried, chat? No, we are not. Right. Bit more and we can do that. And then I do think we need to bank cash. I, I think we kind of want at least 500 in the bank for our daughter. I would like you to go wherever your heart desires. No, go to Jerusalem. So yeah, I think let's hold on. So we are in fine. But that's because we got life reaffirmed and reinvigorating friendship. You picked the wrong castle, fool! Screams my marshal as he threatens the threatened, frightened intruder with a sword. Under further pressure from my marshal, the young woman explains she's part of a large criminal organization originating from the Duchy of Barcelona, and com commanded by the dreaded Lope, the King of Thieves. So you're trying to set up a new thief skill right under my nose, eh? I asked to which the thief merely nods. She is willing to exchange firmer, further information for her life. So we could gain 95. I don't really want the thieves guild to retaliate. Barcelona would get a thieves guild and I'd pay her some cash. I don't really want to do that. Is she any good? Oh, yes. Bianca. Join my court, melancholic Bianca. Ransom. I mean, you're not good, as good as Count Bella do, but you're not bad. I do like the new music in this match. It's really nice. Malish, the adventurer at Rothard, sends word. 
Ten days and ten nights, me and my party, I think you'll find it's my party and I there, Rothbard, have been hiding. The bandit lord Amir has set a blockade on the road. We must travel. What do you advise? I don't really want him to be wounded because he's quite good. Yeah, just bribe him. Right, that gets a schema. Let's murder this guy's son. I feel like it is time. He's 11. Oh, we need the money first. Let's get a bit of money up. Cuttlebone Saint Varden figure. So we gained some tat. Is it good tat? Number of knights plus one. That's not bad tat. There is far worse tat. Uh, Spy Master on sports games? Not at the moment, but we will flip him. I kind of figure we want at least 100, 150 gold in the bank before we do that scheme, just in case. We don't want to start it and then find we don't have enough to bribe someone. That's my main fear. I mean, we are 57, so we probably do want to be starting it soon. Ten months have put us at a hundred, so we'll give it ten months and then we'll start it. Because we are continually picking up life affirmed still. Probably means in the longer term we want to stop going to feasts. Because there's no way we're going to get to the point where we can set up a holy order. I just don't think there is. We're not going to hit faithful. I think we're very much in consolidation and we want to get hold of this territory. That we could do with breaking up to be honest, but that's going to be hard. Right, well he is now the ruler. He is the duke, so we probably do need to kill his brother off. Everyone wants to kill him now. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Weird air shit happened here. What's going on here? Who are we killing? We don't want to kill the wrong brother here. We don't want to kill him. Let's not kill the wrong brother. We could do with him not dying. How, well, wait, he got it. He got it. Someone else killed the father and the brother, I think. No, the older son didn't get it. Oh, it's split up. It's because it's split up. Uh, so you need to die. You, sir, need to be an ex Amir. And we need to hope the other one doesn't die before that. We also did get inherit this. Because we'd already given him a title over here just to test this. So this does still work. So we actually already control Amaya now via that.
don't mind getting a bit of stress. Uh, Aegis is the most annoying, so congrats, Alphad, you're right. Now pay me some gold. That's fine. Not too worried about that. How are we looking on this? Yeah, conciliation is still winning out. But yeah, I think we do need to flip that back when we hit the relevant point. Could you... Let's stop going to feasts now, because we could do with not getting life affirmed. Uh, Sheik Suleiman is preparing a special trip for young Emir al Muzaffar. The child trusts he will be brought on an enjoyable day in the forest. al Muzaffar will unfortunately get lost and be impossible to find before nightfall. Oh, he was so young too. A child lost in the forest. It happens tragically often. Emir al Muzaffar is dead. The search went long into the night before it was called off and reconvened at dawn. It was only then that the body was found bloodied, mangled, and torn after an attack by some vicious, hungry beast. Oh dear, how sad, chat. How sad. How sad indeed. He is 13. Hurry up and marry so you can pop out Sprog. Please try and pop out Sprog before you die. It would be very useful to me if you would pop out Sprog before I die. Still would like us to be earning more money. Do we want to build something? My lady! My knight Rothard announces his arrival in a surprisingly loud voice. He proudly holds up a package securely wrapped in cloth. I return from Syria with an artifact from my journey. The banner of thankfulness. Holy shit! That's mental. The perks on that are insane for if you're playing in Iberia. Because light cavalry is our, is our thing. Piety boost. It's always good anyway because it's a flat piety boost. So you're just going to get it. Holy Water higher cost, Men at Arms maintenance minus 10, which is really, really good. Um, oh, you've got to be Muslim. The fuck, Rothard? God damn it. Yeah, cheers, Rothard. You tit. I mean, it got us an achievement, but... 14 months. That's more than a year. It is indeed. It is slightly more than a year. Thank you very much, KRFSM, for renewing your subscription. So, thanks, Rothard, for giving me an incredible thing that I cannot use. Um, we're going to start declining feasts, because we don't want to renew the um, bonuses from that. Like, if we weren't doing a roleplay run where we were staying Catholic, I'd absolutely f uh, form a new branch of Catholicism. Uh, swear Oath of True Friendship. This is all very Babysitter's Club. Um... She gains a strong hook on me, and I get a strong hook on her. Okay. Yeah, give me money. Give me money. Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, I could have hooked her title, but she's my best friend, so it feels like it wouldn't be in the spirit. We need to fuck with this kingdom royally. Um, let's murder you. So we want to flip him to support murders. Let's get our murdering on. We don't really need anything else on here, but we'll probably flip off of there to stewardship, actually. But we're really close to a perk, so we'll take the perk close. close. Yeah, basically everyone is going to war for that banner now, because that banner is filthy good. Like, it's so good I'm half tempted. If, if we, people start warring for it, we're going to give it to someone else who's suitably far away. Ninety-four, ninety-five. that'll do. I mean, if there's someone cheap we can get in. Yeah, we're getting in. Still alive. 14. Live for two more years and give uh, my heir a sprog, please. Now remember, we're female rulers only, so the issue we're going to have here is that our female heir will not be eligible to take this title, because I bet you anything that that has a male-only inheritance rule. So it's male-only partition. But what we're trying to do is get someone of our dynasty on, there, on the throne, because that's a good start. If we can get someone of our dynasty on there, we can do things with it. Especially as we'll raise the kid to be Catholic. Because that's the thing we've got to think about with this run. Oh, shame. We died. Died exactly 60. If you raise them Basque, will they change the succession laws? Hopefully. Hopefully they will. Queen Uraka of Castile has found peace in Christ's embrace at 60 years of age. She died of old age. Known to have stained her hands in the blood of her own king, she is pure, surely paying for her horrific climbs in hell. The priests really need to work on their on their kind of um, eulogies for people in this. Like, it was going really well, and then kind of like you get to the point and everyone else at the funeral was like, um, priest, can you not read that bit out in public? Um... Right, yeah, let's get some Fs for Uraka. She did really well. 27 years, and she did murder all of her family and unite Castile, so... Let's have some respect for her, please. Right, we are now Queen Elvira. We will become the dynasty head again. That's actually pretty damn good timing. Um, Yeah, interestingly, we are now an interloper. We are now an interloper because we are Norwegian. I didn't know whether the ownership of land would override that. So, we do not have both an involved faith and an involved culture. So, what we actually want to do is, so the benefits to us of being Norwegian are... So we don't get access to the to the extra one, which is the one I wanted to check, so I wasn't sure if Norwegian did. Uh, found peace in Christ's embrace, but also burning in hell. A complicated woman, indeed. Um, so that's good, in a way, because the only reason to hang on to being Norwegian was if it was going to give us access to the Norse path. And I didn't think it would, and it hasn't. Which is not a problem for us with this ruler. But what it should have done... There we go. This is what we wanted. So what we actually want to do here is we do want to take some Varangians. And do we want any of the others? A Bondi better than equivalents? Or is it just Varangians we want? 
because we can repeat the same trick to pick up inter interesting men at arms from other areas. Like, I'm not convinced there's a massive advantage to us in getting the others. So Bondi are 15, 18, 12 and they get bonuses in winter and in farmlands, but they lose in hills, plains and mountains. Uh, no wars is in starting, no wars. Yes, exactly. Huskarls 43, 26, 24 and they get bonuses in, win in winter and in tiger and forest. So they would be versus pikemen. 23, 24, 0. Ooh. They give a screen. Damn, they're much better, aren't they? We want Huskarls, don't we? I think we definitely want Huskarls. Does making someone mad enough that they, they're clear on you count as starting? No, it does not. That counts as excellent trolling. That's part of the fun. It's a bit like um, the first time we attempted this, um, we had to kill, we had to overthrow someone to get our title. So we decided that telling them they needed to give us their title and then them refusing still counted, didn't count as starting a war because ultimately they're the ones who went to war with us. We just asked nicely for their title. What about Vigman? Are Vigman better? So farmlands, plains, and tiger advantages. 20, 20, 22. 28, 10, and none. I mean, that toughness rating is quite nice. That toughness rating is quite nice. Yes, today's tea is fairy dust. It is very tasty. Buy tea. Buy tea. It is nice tea. They will send you free tea if you buy it from my link. They will send you free samples of different interesting teas. You do buy tea. And I am drinking it right now. Um, very nice. Kind of peachy and rosy fairy dust. Kind of, the only thing is I'm... I suppose it's not too bad with the Vigman, because we're going to have to kill off several of our actually quite useful men-at-arms units to do this. So Lightfootmen are 10, 16, 10, 16, and they get Forest, Tiger, and Jungle. Bondi are 15, 18, 12. So they get some Pursuit, which is nice, but they get... Right, we don't want Bondi, because they get disadvantages in hills, and we have a lot of hills. So Bondi are out. We don't want Bondi. We could replace our bowmen with Vigman. I don't think we do because bowmen do more damage and I think we want to take that damage boost. I'm quite happy with our bowmen. But I do think we ditch some of our caballeros and get Huskarls. So we've now got Huskarls and Varangian veterans. And that means we can now safely convert to local culture. As soon as we get the prestige to do it, which we can get relatively quickly just by going on a hunt. We are one over our limit. It is taking we've started on stewardship already and that would push us over fifteen, that would push us back into the territory of getting it. Um I think we do go stewardship with this ruler. I think we're not really in the business of getting stabby with her. I think she's our consolidation ruler of really building up the economy. Primarily. Slightly annoyed she hasn't gone down administrator. I wish you could kind of force your heirs to go down these paths. It'd be quite useful. Um, I 
It would be my preference. I think we are going to go domain focus because that deals with our domain size issue. So it pushes us over 15. So remember that means at the moment we went over 14, we hit 15. It contributes an extra one to our domain limit because they go in increments of five. So to get another domain limit increase, we need to hit 20. Um, score but redeemed a random histo fact. Oh, let's go. What have we got a histo fact for you? Um, so there's a U-boat that's captured in the Caribbean. I'll do, a, I'll do a Twitter thread on this at some point because it's a fascinating one. It's captured by the, con the crew of a Canadian destroyer um, working as part of a convoy. And the U-boat's forced to the surface and they board it and they manage to capture the submarine um, before the captain can sink it and do everything else. What It tends to pop up a lot in kind of boys' own adventure stories because it's talked about how like the three... Or the three crew members who board the submarine as the like to capture it um, essentially jump over the side swim to the submarine get on the submarine and then seize the submarine and whenever you look at it in boys own adventures it will talk about how like their some of their clothes got clothes got ripped off um, like when they swam over to the submarine so you always see them in kind of like their shorts kind of boarding the submarine and everything else no all of their clothes got got torn off Basically, by the time these three burly prayers, uh, prairie Canadian frickin' sailors got to the submarine, they were entirely naked and clutching just weapons. So they boarded this submarine clutching weapons and knives entirely in the buff, which is actually how they managed to take the submarine. Because the Germans were fully expecting them to come down the conning tower and were ready at the bottom with guns. What they were not expecting to suddenly appear through the hatch and slide down in front of them was a bunch of hairy naked Canadian asses and bulls, which put them off just long enough, created a, like a mental out of context problem long enough that they didn't fire. So by the time they'd realized what was happening, the Canadians were already on top of them and they took, took them and, and kind of overpowered them and then they were able to capture the rest of the submarine because then more people came over and everything else. So all these wonderful boys' own stories talk about the Canadian, Canadian sailors bravely seizing the submarine. They completely miss out that, it was, that they were mainly able to achieve it because of the fact that they were utterly bulls naked at the time. And this is a kind of genuine concept in history stuff that you see a lot, is what you call an out-of-context problem. Which is if you can create such a mental problem that is out of context of what the enemy is expecting on a personal level, they will not know how to react to it, at least for long enough that will get you things. This is why you hear stories of British officers attacking people with longbows in, well, in, in, in war and getting away with it. Or like in Band of Brothers, where, which is true, you get the, the, the thing of the person running all the way through the German lines to get to the other side to pass on a message. And everyone just going, what the fuck? It's an out of context problem. And it's a hard thing to emulate, but if you can do it, it re in a desperate situation, it very much works. So yes, um, naked Canadians with sweaty balls seizing submarines is a thread I will do on Twitter at some point. Um, but yeah, it, it just amuses me that literally every time you see it mentioned in like kind of a, a history book or kiddie book or whatever else, they'll always be pictured in like swimming shorts or something. Uh, what caused their clothes to fall off? So they weren't wearing a lot to begin with. So the boarding party or the people who opportunistically swam over to seize the sub were people who'd been on they did they'd been sleeping they'd been on the off-duty crew so they were basically the off-shift crew and they'd woken up to find this submarine action was going on well, this when they then the submarine action started because everyone else is at their duty stations so it's the people who are off duty that have to go on board the submarine and it's the three guys who are nearest and get over the side to do it happen to have just basically they, 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 they were sleeping in their shorts because they're in the Caribbean, in a destroyer in the Caribbean, and it's bloody hot. So that was all they were wearing while they were asleep. So by the time they grab their weapons, jump in the water, get over there, their shorts have been washed off. So yeah, um, naked Canadians win battles. Um, there you go, hopefully that's satisfactory as a history fact. Uh, 
Those are reasonable basis for sticking a few Econ buildings if you're consolidating. Yeah, it's why I'm not going to reset her perks. I think they are actually good. But what we do need to do now is... I'm conscious that we need to get down this. Now, the question we want to go is... I assume we probably still want to flip to Basque. I think Basque is best for us. I suspect Bas Basque is best for us. But I don't think Astra Leonese is good for us. Yeah, I think that's it. We raise we raise the kids as Basque. So I do think we're going to want to flip Basque, which is fine, because then we can finally flip the capital back from Vizcaya, and Vizcaya becomes our giveaway territory. Because we do want... I mean, ideally we want the capital of Santiago, but I'm not going to get that yet. Burgos will do for capital for now, and it is... I think it is the realm, the traditional realm capital. Yeah, de jure capital is the county of Burgos, so... Right, we can definitely ask the Pope for gold straight away, which is good. Our father Nuno can wed. I feel like it's probably about time for him to die, but I don't think we'll be able to kill him. Right. We probably want to hold a feast and get our... Oh no, actually we can create a title. That's probably better for us. If we just create a Duchy of Castile. The moment the Pope gives us the gold. Right, council. So we have pow five powerful vassals. 1,200, 800, 1,200, 1,000, 948. So the priorities are this guy, who absolutely should be our marshal. I forgot we got El Cid hanging around. Cid, buddy. Should we be our marshal? Right, Cid's happy. Um, what foreign title is he eligible for? The one our husband will hold. He's our husband's heir. So to be honest, we deal with him by popping out of Sprog as quickly as possible. Which is our kind of plans anyway. We just have to kind of... We're slightly relying on no one killing our husband for two years. So we'll see what happens. Right, he is bang average at everything. He is not great at much. He is absolutely our steward. Uh, Count Fernan. Be our steward. All of you are terrible at most things. Munio is the least bad Chancellor. Which is about as close to a dump one as we get. Right, here's Max is 818. I think maybe we go Count Purdue. Yeah, Count Pedro. It's annoying, but. 
I mean, Count oh, Countess Elvira is really good, though. How many troops you got, Elvira? Not a lot. You were our mum's mate. I'm going to go Elvira. And... Yeah, domestic affairs. Spy Master, we want someone who's very good and doesn't hate us. Um, Belladu is going to like us if we appoint him. So I think that probably works out. Priest likes us, which is the important thing. Have we got any foreign faith? It says we have. Oh, of course, it's the new territory we've got down here. Yeah, convert that, please. Burgos is still getting dev boosted. How is Burgos looking in dev these days? 16, that's not bad. Right, as soon as Pope gives us money, there we go. We will create this title. So let's create the Duchy of Castile. That means we can now... Ooh, what's that? The weakened warring states of Iberia opened the peninsula's doors to outsides. If one could declare themselves the new Christian leader of the region, or simply a glorious invader, much could be gained. That's an interesting one. Right, so if you hold an empire title that's outside of Hispania, This title borders, you hold and completely control the de jure kingdom of Hispania. At least 50% of this title's de jure counties are Catholic. This title's borders are held, this title borders held de jure land of an empire you hold, which is not Hispania. And you've held the title for 15 years. Right, so if you held, okay, that's interesting, but it needs to border an empire that you hold. That opens up interesting possibilities in future. So that is clearly a decision designed for people that are playing as France, yes, but you could also do it as Maghreb. Hey Lacopolis, hope you feel better. You could do that as Maghreb. Or by de jour drifting a title into the empire that you were playing. So you could do a Byzantine run, for example, where you take control of the kingdom of Almoravid, this kingdom over here, and then de jour drift that into Byzantium and then once it's in the Empire of Byzantium you could claim the whole of Spain yeah you could do it with HRE HRE is so much harder to control though it's very clearly a decision designed for France but that means I just want to fuck with it and do it in a way that doesn't involve France Because, you know, it's not fun if you do it the easy way. Champion the faith of the country Basques. The people of the Pyrenees are resistant to change in their isolated mountain valleys and remote hilltop villages. Many preserve elements of faiths long dead to the rest of the Europe. 
At present, these mountains, mountain, mountain syncretics and their fault church are irrelevant, but with the right sponsor. Oh, so that's if you want to push Erezarak. Oh man, that looks fun. Interesting. Ooh. That's one for future. Right, chat, remember that one, because we'll do that when we're not doing this in a future run. Because we were going to do a future run of pushing for Erezarak. So I think the theory is it gives you Castilian culture because you're coming from the Basque and you're kind of almost infiltrating outwards. Oh man, we are totally doing a really good Basque run at some point. Look at that, you can You can get friend of the old ways. So to be able to do that we're gonna need to be level of devotion no more than sinner. So you oh it's so you actually need to be a sinner. You have to have two sinful traits, two traits that are virtuous in there. Oh, this is going to be a fun one to do, chat. We are doing a champion of the old ways run after this one, I think. The old Vasconia region. Where's the old Vasconia region? Oh, right, it's the whole of frickin' Iberia. That's fine. The date is 1200 or earlier. Yeah, we're going to do that, and we're going to do that in the early start. We've got to get ourselves excommunicated. We've got to be cynical. We've got to be rivals with the Pope. Oh, that is going to be... That is going to be really fun. Essentially, we're going to have to be the world's worst Catholic. Having sat, or knowing we're already satisfying the other stuff. Oh yeah, you only need one of those. That's a piece of piss. We can become a sinner, like, stupidly easy. Even two, two things that are virtuous in this isn't that hard. Just need brave and just. Challenge, get all of them. Yeah, that, that could be the way we do it. We've got to have all of them before we're allowed to push the button. Right, chat, do not let me forget that. Our next run is, um, after this, is Champion of the Old Ways. We're going Champion of the Old Ways as our um, next run. And we're going to go Basque, and we're going to bring back Erezarak. Now, we could do Partition. So we can go to Elective Succession, which we don't want to do. Basically, I'm just looking if there's anything else we're going to lose off of this list after we convert, that we just want to make sure we don't lose off the list. And I think we're fi fine. Oh, hang on. No, it's even easier to do that thing than I thought about. Iberian Foothold. Just get hold of three kingdoms and form an empire. And I know I say just, but you could absolutely do that. 
stretch goal, do it as a descendant of El Cid. If we're doing it as a descendant of El Cid, we'd have to start in the current date thing, which we could do. I don't know, we'll have a play with that. I might do a test run off stream, see if we can do it as a descendant of El Cid. Um, anyway. I don't think there's anything else we want to do, so we can just convert to local culture now. Which makes us back to being fully involved in the struggle. Uh, wouldn't elective succession allow you to effectively handpick an heir without God killing their siblings? Yes, but I always find elective succession ends up more trouble than it's worth in the long run. Like, we currently have all ch children inherit equally, so we have confederate partition. We have male preference, we really want to get into equal. We need high, basically we need to get to high crown authority before we do anything else. Yes, you can absolutely give me money. So, path to high crown authority. We should be the head of the culture. But we might not be. We might not have enough Basque hanging around. Yeah, he controls more Basque land than we do technically, I think. So we need to get our hands on that cultural head, because I think we are going to stay Basque. Yeah, HRE's doing well. They've stayed together. I think we probably remove the realm capital back to Burgos. We have court artifacts. I don't think we've got anything we're not aware of or displaying. Probably want him on disrupt for now. Everyone else is doing what we want. Let's get some county increases on just because we can. We do have enough gold. Uh, Rothard and Nuno are. I don't really want to be fighting Rothard. Is Rothard any good? Yes. Let's not fight Rothard. So just, just scrap. Have fun. Switch to culture convert. Probably not a bad idea. Right, chat, remind me in nine months. In nine months, Burgos will have another dev point, at which point we're going to flip him to culture converts. Our head of the dynasty. We could hold court. How are we looking on factions? Because we're aiming for a smooth transition. I think we've got a reasonably smooth transition there. How old are you? 57, don't care. 51, don't care. You are a creepy old man. Creepy old man. Uh, 
Uh, Muno Munez is quite young. And he is our powerful vassal that we're never going to give land to. Let's sway him. Always take the weak hook. It's very rarely worth doing that that option. Yeah, hostility is getting some pushes, but I think we are going to get conciliation. Notable guest has arrived. Trained healer. Well, you're a herbalist, so not that trained. So most likely Zamora gains cooperative stonemasons. I don't really need them. I'm not going to build anything in Zamora. Zamora's not even my territory, is it? No, Zamora is my territory. And it doesn't have anything in it. And we are on an eco run. It's 20 years. Let's get Count Fernan to give it a go. Damn, Count Fernand, did that die? Whoa, undead, undead Count Fernand from beyond the grave is offering us a. Uh, the ghost of Count Fernand has um, just done a Masonic deal for us, which is good of him. With his last dying breath, he secured a decent deal for us with the Masons Guild. does mean we need a new steward. I mean, Munio isn't the worst steward. He's not good as Count Nuno, though. Well, we might as well hang on this screen while we wait for that to finish. Uh, actually, he's quite good. What does your title can we convince? Six years. Way ahead of you, Thadron. Way ahead of you. Let's get the culture going right first. I think we want to be head of culture. Let's get our culture stuff. Let's get some, some good progress on culture before we start worrying about du jour ties. Because theoretically that should eventually come under our power anyway. He was ill, he's now better. Because the important thing is, Emir is a ducal level rank. That's Count Muno, without a doubt. Because that is a ducal level title. Which means all we've actually got to do is give him another ducal level title within Castile. And then that means that when we'll give our kid, our first mayoral, our first mayoral kid, we give a ducal level title within the Castilian realm. That means that when he then inherits Bayer, which um, he will already be a duke within a kingdom. Because he's a duke within a kingdom, he will not leave the kingdom, he will just get the additional dukedom. So Bayer will at that point join our kingdom. So it doesn't matter to us that our firstborn son is going to get this title as long as we disinherit him rather than kill him. 
Oh, the Tripoli uh, Tripoli Tripoli Tripolitan hybrid culture. Interesting. Right, Crusades are enabled. Joy. How are we looking in piety terms? We're not far off faithful. If we did a... Actually, you know what we should do? We should do a pilgrimage. Can we go on a pilgrimage? We can. Let's go to the Vatican. I think Holy Order is our next priority. I mean, he's going for Jerusalem. The alternative is we convince him. No, we can't convince him to go somewhere else. They must have changed the mechanics on how that works, because you used to be able to do it. I oh know, isn't it because we've not pledged to it? If we pledge to it, we can probably convince him to go somewhere else. It's because we want chains of loyal loyalty and likable and administrator ultimately, because that'll allow us to flip back off of this and not suffer on domain limit. I mean, we are going to have to pledge. It's not to redirect it against our husband. We could redirect it against them. You reckon Crusades got worse? It's entirely possible. I think we redirect it against Sarah Crusta. There's no point going after the big guns down there. Fuck's the pagan kingdom. Where are you? Righto. I mean, whilst it'd be funny to redirect the crusade to there, let's not redirect the crusade to there. If we ever want to fuck with the big countries, we redirect the cru crusade over there. Right, we are going to redirect it against... Kingdom of Navarra. Like, can you imagine, like, all of the Christian rulers would be like, I'm not going all the way there. Like, all their soldiers will die of attrition before they even get there. Like, you're that one person in the meeting, and everyone's like, right, we're going to Jerusalem. And you're like, um, lads, what about, and just hear me out here, the Kingdom of Pagan? I know you've not heard of it, but trust me, we want to go there. Right, Kingdom of Navarre, I think. Because if we're going to have to fight in the fucking thing, I want to be near enough to maybe win the fucking thing. Yeah, it'll be like three guys actually make it all the way out to, Pag to Pagan. Do we reckon it's Pagan? I'm guessing it isn't actually Pagan. 
Um, so yeah, it'll be like three guys in armor like run ashore and everyone will be like, what? How are we looking? Yeah, I think conciliation's gonna win out. So it's the next one we need to get hostile on, basically. Uh, we do need to appoint a beneficiary. I don't think we have anyone in our dynasty. Now these people are technically in our dynasty. Who are you, and can I bring you to court? She's young enough, though. Do we go bloke or her? He's Basque. You. No, she'd convert to local culture. Do we want a female ruler on the throne? Does it benefit us? Yes, it does, because a Basque female ruler is more likely to try and convert it so that they can do Basque female rulers. Her. And she's still young enough to have kids. I mean, they're not that powerful. Right, no spending money until the crusade starts then. Uh, the Moz Arabs occupy a unique position in Iberian society. It is unusual then to see one of their local merchants ask for an audience with me. We Moz Arabs tend to deal with a certain degree of extra difficulty when living our lives. He speaks evenly and without rancor, but there's clearly some steel to his words. All we want is for a small section of the cities in the county of Coimbra to call our own and live among our people. I have come here to petition you, my lady to see whether you might magnanimously grant us this. So I can gain faith, and he loses opinion of me. I can lose some money. There are a ten-year boost in dev. I'm not really benefiting me, that. And we're going to need the money for the crusade. Nah, we'll go pious. I feel like this ruler is more of a piousy type one than our last one anyway. As I say, she is very much a consolidation ruler. Um, how about we actually get married? Which actually pushes a bit on the conciliation anyway. Right, Hubbo, you need to give us some sprogs, otherwise we're going to have to start shagging around. Right, Count Muno is plus 68. Let's see if we can get one more sway on him. I mean, we can probably actually go for a befriend. Uh, Belladu finally died, but we had that really good lass. Um, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You what? Uh, no. Do we want to get rid of him? Yes. He's got no benefits to us. Look, I'm just not that into you, Garcia. It's the hat. Like him, I'll seduce. He won't be up for it, because we haven't got... Um... He's well up for it. Give me a baby, you randy old dog. 
Deus motherfucking vault. That's an unbelievably unsexy hat. Wait, my husband's on the wrong side of this. <laughs> uh, hubby? Much as I love you. Thing is, he's also fighting rebels. I don't really want to smack my husband's army around. Right, we're not going to raise troops yet. Because this crusade is almost certainly going to go terribly wrong. Although we could start smacking around the smaller armies already. Crusade for Navarra fired for everything but Navarra. Pretty much. Um. It's basically like going for this. It's just that little bit of territory, I think. Theoretically. Right, how much do we fight this crusade early? Do we wait for everyone else to at least turn up? We can get the sieges easy enough. Because if we can snipe armies before they can combine, we'll be doing okay. Basically, as usual, this is all going to come down to who consolidates their armies first and quickest. These guys are cons going to consolidate relatively quick. I mean, most allies should be pretty close. So the Knights Templar are in. Hungary's in, is France in? I don't think France is in, that's the problem. France isn't in. France isn't in this. Fuck you, King Hughes. Basically, it's us and the Pope are the big contributors. Right, let's raise our let's raise our troops, but we do need to be very careful. I mean we do have El Cid running around in charge, so Yeah look. Right, I'm gonna drop this down to three. Yeah, they're going to try and ambush us. Fuck off with that. I mean, to be honest, we could probably win against that many troops. If they came at us. In the, um... Mountains. And we were running El Cid as our leader. I don't think we're going to win this crusade. It's only 48. It's only 48. If he had any traits, we'd be going for El Cid babies. My 
right, he's going to, they're, they're going to go all the way over there. When we see him pop over here, we're going back onto two to there. There we go, right. They might win that if they get everyone in. Because they'll have the Knights Templar, but they need to get everyone in fast. Nah, they're not going to win it. Good morning, Pangolin. Nah, this crusade is lost. But if we can get a siege, we will get contribution. On the plus side, they should retreat onto us. Because we're now the largest force. Nope, they're coming back for us. Let's fuck off out of there, shall we? Run, T and Kitties are going all right. We are currently at war with our husband, technically. Right, let's split them up and get some supply back. I should be getting supply back from there. I'm actually tempted the stewardship is more useful to me, I think. Actually, large levies. He did manage to pull his kingdom back together. Right, I think what we're actually going to do is not going to risk our whole force. This crusade is lost. They do need to work on the crusade mechanic. Oh no! The randy old dude we were seducing who was a genius is dead. More annoying, he was also our spy master. Our ex-lover, let's not. Uh, Munio? Yeah, I kind of feel like we have to. They will probably come back for us again. I think realistically our element in this crusade here is do enough to be seen as contributing. In fact actually we should be... doing that. I assume that means it's converted. So that's good. It's stay in religious relations and we don't need to do anything there. I'd really like us to get the Crusader trait. Right, this Crusade is well and truly lost. But if we can keep dipping in and out, We should be able to not lose the Crusader trait. And if we can get this before they can come back for us. We'll just fuck off and hang around in our husband's lands for a bit. Right. Run away! Well, everyone's... Don't you want your partners to be Moorish? Sign of a good marriage. Our husband is um, 
Amir Yusuf Imbaya. Or Baya. Right, no one can say we haven't contributed to the crusade now. Uh, you'll get supply there, so go there and get some supply. Just go and siege down a bit of our husband's lands. In fact, go siege down that bit, because then we'll get a bit of warning. And we can dive out to Coimbra when we need to. Uh, a wounded and disillusionary mercenary group has arrived at the county of Corona. The locals claim to have overheard talk of settling down after pillaging an easy target. I've begun to grow anxious. Um, so for that we're going to lose a ton of gold, which we don't really have to lose. <laughs> There's a 100% chance the mercenary slaughters the, lo the local soldiers. I think we'll go for recently looted doesn't bother me much much. But I'm actually tempted to disband that army. And we'll just operate with the 4,000 because it means at least we're not losing money. We could really do with finding someone to seduce. Because we're at war with our husband, and that means we're not throwing out kids. Which is a problem. And we need daughters. To ideally have traits. Only if the Pope's got traits. The problem is we haven't got any seduction traits, so we're not getting any boost from this, which is why I'm filtering on lustful. Does Sinike give any um, interesting units? Kind of gambling on trying to find someone who's lustful with traits. Slightly annoyed our genius who was happy to shag has died. Basically, failing no one with traits, what we want is someone who's. Ah, oh yeah, but it's Herculean and I don't want Herculean. Herculean is not good for us on this run because we don't want people living for a long time. We want people who are not going to live for a long time. Come on, someone must have traits. Yeah, we could filter out rulers. Someone there that had comely. We're going to get a religion penalty though, so he's going to not want to marry us. Yeah, and he's gay. That doesn't help. Really annoys me that on the general filter you can't say has traits. Uh, Wojtek? 
You are Catholic and Palabian. Right, we've got a 50 on seducing him. Yeah, yes, yes, I was pregnant for three years since we last shagged. Honey, I know we've been at war with each other for three years, but this baby is definitely yours. Pope will give us gold. Uh, let's use the bank of Pope. Even I am fighting in your crusade, Mr. Pope. Yay! Hubbo gave us a baby. So we did manage to find some way to uh, ally ourselves during this war. In a way, our best case scenario is that he gives us a son. Because that son is then going to inherit um, his title, regardless. And then we get a daughter with traits from our future lover. Hubby sneaking into our war tent, yep. Yeah, oh no, it's t I mean, that's, that's pure anime relationship, that is. It, I mean, he's basically snuck in whilst we're sieging down his territory. So like he's led an army somewhere around here and he's like to his followers, he's like, I will go scout out what the enemy is doing. And then he's crept into our, our tent for a quick shag. Good news is we've almost lost this crusade. Managed to imprison Matilda. I think the only thing Crusade really needs, to be honest, the reason I'm doing this, by the way, is this was rebellious territory anyway for our husband, so we're just going to chill here until we see someone coming at us, and then we're going to run away very fast. Chill in there. Um, I stabbed her deeply with my sword, but alas, she survived. Um, so, we will ransom that dude. What they need to do with Crusades is they need to allow you to set a Crusade rally point. Like you can set your own rally point for your own troops. Because Crusades nearly always fail because everyone throws in their troops piecemeal and no one coordinates. What they need to be able to do is, and it would be relatively historically accurate, is if you as a character, or if a character has a high enough martial skill or prestige and is giving enough of a troop contribution, then actually what should happen then is it should allow you to essentially become military leader of the Crusade. And if you were a military leader of the Crusade, that would allow you to set a rally point. It would mean that the AI would automatically try and move troops to... to it would treat them as if they're your allies in a war, and they'd move to manoeuvre in line with how you needed them to manoeuvre. And I think by setting it so that you could only have that if you had sufficiently high military skill, or prestige, or some other thing that allows you to essentially take a decision should just be a decision that becomes assume leadership of the crusade. It would then allow you to be much more coordinated in running the crusade and treat it like a war that you were running. I think there should also be downsides to doing that. So if you assume leadership of the crusade and the crusade fails, you should take a much larger hit to your own prestige and maybe your own piety than you would otherwise if the crusade fails. 
but I think that would actually sort out crusades properly and make them good and usable and actually make them more fun for the pl for the player but it also wouldn't overpower them because I think you genuinely make it so that to assume leadership of a crusade let's say you'd need to be exalted among men or you need to have a military skill higher than 20 or a prowess higher than 20 or a d diplomatic skill higher than 20 let's say those are the criteria you need one of those things to be able to assume leadership of the crusade and whether it becomes a thing the AI can do you probably want the AI to be able to do it, but at the same time, the human player has no requirement to act in line with that. But maybe you'd finesse that out a bit. But I think that would sort out Crusades. I think that would genuinely sort out Crusades and make them usable. Just an idea, anyway. I don't know what you think, chat, but I think that would be the way I would sort out Crusades. Uh, wasn't the first Crusade marred by troops arriving pe piecemeal? Yes, exactly. So I think I think this still allows that to happen, but it means that if you've got a strong enough ruler, it doesn't happen, which is kind of what you see happen in several of the Crusades when King Richard. Is, is, is participating when Barbarossa is participating. The Crusades do well when they've got a strong established leader. And the anti-Crusade forces do well when they've got a strong established leader as well. So uh, really all you're doing is adding a, a subtle addition to the Crusade mechanic that I think would actually sort them out. But it would also mean you still had the entire possibility and probably the high likelihood that most Crusades are going to descend into semi-chaos. It just means that there is a way for the player, as much as anyone else, to ensure that they don't if the player wants to fully participate in the Crusade. But by having it so that there are issues for not doing it, you still get a cost. Because I think it should be that Crusades get messy in this game and you don't want Crusades succeeding a lot because historically they didn't succeed a lot But you do want them to at least have the chance of succeeding particularly if the players getting involved Awesome we had a very bang average sum So our son is now his primary heir now we can focus on having a daughter. It would also probably be possible to make it so that leading crusade would lose the crusade support from people who don't like you. Like your rivals wouldn't want to serve under you, which did happen. Yeah, or even that you'd give it like the rivals do not have to follow the rival AI does not if your rival is an AI, if your AI is rivaled to you they just don't obey the orders that you're giving so they won't try in consolidation oh food has been issued food has been issued now are we going to get a little kitty appearance crusade has failed oh dear how sad I think he's still happily snoozing, you know. I think he must be very asleep. I like these ideas. Nudia, welcome to the chat. More than welcome when you like the things I say. Um, but welcome. And uh, uh, Leo Levantine, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry, I missed that three minutes ago. I was ranting about crusades. How is not my cat doing? Max is grumpy at the moment. He was allowed on the duvet yesterday. So I'm welcome if you don't like my ideas. Oh no, you're still welcome. I just like you more if you like my ideas. Um, the uh, Max is grumpy. He was allowed on the duvet yesterday, but I, uh, I did offer him duvet earlier, but he was very much in a prowling mood and I was like dude if you're gonna prowl I'm not gonna let you in the house because you will go for Napoleon right 
so he's going to pick up a ton of good stuff, which is what we want. We do need a daughter. So hopefully our seduction comes off. Kid, we're going to educate as Basque. Right, we've got relatively good bank. Can we found a holy order? We're just missing the piety. I feel like we should push for holy order before we start doing other things because there's no guarantee. Oh, we need to be devoted servant though. We aren't far off devoted servant. Uh, do we need to set up for the kids who doesn't go to the husband's court? That's a good question. Whose court is he in? I think maybe we ward him. Because if we're, 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 no, if we're warding him, I don't think the husband will disrupt that. But he should be in my court anyway because I'm the mother. Where would we headquarters them if we were going to found them? Oh, we can do it out of Porto, so that's fine. That would be the only would have been the only nice thing about winning that freaking war or managing to get some things in, because the problem is we're not that great at earning piety because we can't fight religious wars. What do we do, chat? Do we push for piety? Uh, being able to negotiate marriage contracts about sta autonomy, status of children would be a cool feature. Yeah, that'd be quite a nice one to add. I don't know, do we push on piety? We haven't held court in a while. I have one new artifact apparently. What new artifact do I have? St. George's tibia is not on display, so let's put... That's not a tibia. Day drinking! I'm not going to make him my court fool. I'm not going to imprison him. That's interesting. You can make people lose the trait drunkard now then. By having a stern chat with them. Look, he lost drunkard. Swaying the bishop would give us piety events potentially, yes. What we should be doing is notifying when that's available again. Because we will get at least one more pilgrimage in. Maybe if we keep a baseline of 500 cash for now. So we treat 500 as our zero point. My vassal Count Pedro has a contract with me that's quite lenient, exempting him from many of the obligations. I don't really care. Loyalty is worth more than levies. 
got a 60% chance of persuading him. It's only a tiny bit of stress. Right, what do we reckon he likes? He's craven, sadistic, lustful, and an astute intellectual, so he's probably going to want something pious. Sorted. Uh, this is a continuation of the run from before. So, um... Uraka finally died, so we're currently playing as uh, Queen Elvira. We are married to Emir Yusuf. Our son is going to inherit his territory, but we do need a daughter to, con to make this continue to work. So we are going to have to start shagging around for a daughter. Uh, meanwhile, stage one of the struggle is almost done, and that will go conciliation. Now we are earning a good amount of piety, it has to be said. Problem is, the moment we, if we get caught shagging around, that's going to drop. Yes, absolutely. Is there anyone else we can ransom? No. Right, 638, so that means we do have enough cash to build some buildings. Right, what are we holding on to? This is our troops province, isn't it? So Porto is our gold province. Olmedo we're probably going to get rid of. Segovia will keep. As I draw close to Wojtek, I do not know whether to tear the clothes from his body or punch the fearful smile off his face. He kisses me, a challenge, and I drag him closer. A fitting repost. The warring feelings in my chest are echoed by our bodies. We spend the night delivering both insult and bliss unto each other. Kiss me again, my cowardly spawn of hell. Righto, we have an interesting relationship then. Uh, how much piety would building a church give you? It would give us 500. So we could do it. It's just a big territorial investment to do it. And I'm kind of more inclined to try and trigger random stuff to get it. So the, the suggestion from someone that we sway our priest is a good idea. Because that may give us piety events. Porto is our current cash province. It's kind of a bad duchy for us to hang out on. No, it's not because we're not going to want to be king of Portugal. Depends on... Yeah, see, that's going to be Lisbon. Kind of reluctant to dev Porto. What we really want is Santiago. Like that's what we want. I mean, the thing is, this was our mum's. Oh, hang on! Whoa, 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 whoa! Right, we've got a lot of money in the bank. This is going to come down to how many other people rise with her. I 
I mean, it's probably kind of worth a go. We're at the peak of our troops. We're not at war with anyone, and we've got 600 gold in the bank. Like, if we can't pull this off now, we're never going to be able to pull that off. And isn't El Cid still alive? So we're going to have... Unless El Cid's unhappy. I don't think he is. El Cid's very happy. He's not going to rebel. She's got a secret, apparently. Can we reveal her secret? Oh, hang on. That might be enough. Yep. Job done. Boom indeed. Right, we now have a spare title to give away. Do we want to give it away? It's Facey Vakaya, which we're going to use in the long term as our... Um, what's the special building spot in Vakaya? I don't know that one. What's that for? Does anyone know what the special building slot in Vizkai is for? Because if it's good, I don't want to get rid of it. for the Basque religion could be. I thought I just I thought I spotted all of the Right, you're gonna build pastoral lands there because it stops you building anything good in it. And then I'm gonna give that to someone. And maybe someone with traits, because then they might shag us. anything. You're ambitious, wrathful and charming. And you're quite pretty. Uh, I wouldn't get the piety off of it. Um, so the piety from building a church goes to whoever controls the um, the main title. When And it only fires when the, when the building's complete. Um, I tested this a while back because I was for looking at doing an old religion run. So you have to be controlling the territory when the church finishes. So I'd have to wait five years. Which is a long, long time and I don't particularly want to do. Um, right, chat, remind me in March next year that we're going to try and make babies with Count Azario here. So I think we might be about to boost on the seducer. I am slightly worried at the moment. Right, Santiago has most of the buildings you want. Santiago is going to be our money province. And the reason it's going to be our money province is because of this. And we might actually hold off. Uh, El Cid. Yeah, I'll go to El Cid's thing. So actually what we want to do... So...
let's take that. Santiago is amazing. If if you if you are operating in this area, and it's up on my CK3 guide, or it's on my videos. I did a video on this, on the special buildings. This duchy, Duchy of Galicia, is I think the best duchy in the whole of Iberia, if you're Catholic, because you have multiple special buildings in it. You have the Farum Brigantum, you have the Roman Walls of Lugo, and you have the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. So that duchy is 100% a duchy you want to control if you're looking to build a power base over here. Because you can dev it up nicely to have a bunch of, um, like, be your basically your money province because it's also coastal. So it's just like, like we are going to work to get these titles off of these people at over time. But that may even be the thing we're doing with her as a thing, right? We are going to have to flip to Seducer now, though, which is annoying. And the only reason that's annoying... ...is it is going to push us over our domain limit. But I think we can kind of just shoulder that for now. So, in Santiago itself, because this is our money one, we probably want to construct hunting grounds. Nine two six. Do worry about this, dude. Won't humiliate El Cid. We should hold court. We haven't done it for a while. And if we're lucky, we'll get a piety event. Weapons ban in cities for 50 years. Or open carry permitted, popular opinion. I think people mostly like me anyway. Control boost is more useful. Dev growth boost in Burgos. Yeah, what is this? Scotus, exactly. Right, our accounts are doing the right thing. As cult Burgos finally flips culture then. Santiago needs control boosting. Now what we could do... I really want... Corona. Do we fabricate a claim on that? Uh, meanwhile, isn't... Um, 
Aren't you old enough to seduce now? Who died? Oh no! Can we get some F's for El Cid, please? Rip El Cid. Damn, son. 150 gold. Yes, you can absolutely give me 150 gold. Really want to be head of Basque culture. Because we need royal prerogative. On the plus side, he is focused on... Oh, that's going to sort out our domain problem. That's nice. That That is decent. Um, what do we reckon he's into? He's ambitious. Yeah, I thought he'd like that. Right, Santiago control is increased. Yep, don't worry, Scorba. I've started seducing the boy. I think we'll decline that. Yeah, I think we'll just carry on saving, and if we manage to get to the point where we've got enough piety... Like, a holy order is more useful to me. But I think it is the, the the fallback is getting Santiago. I think basically it's going to come down to whether we get discovered shagging around or not. I make sure to pass through Almeida on the day of the practice jousting meet. Count Azorio's officers are milling about, instructing young knights, and I find Azario wandering among them. Whatever intentions I had, his attention is clearly on his duty as the lords of these soldiers. Uh, so I can appeal to his malicious side, to his thrifty side, or to his thoughtful side. Let's try thoughtful. Yeah, that worked nicely. He's gonna love us. He's gonna love us. The Muslims have brought a new crop to their land, rice. It is easy to grow and feeds the people well. Is this part of their success? Rice fields for 20 years. No, I mean... Dev growth and popular opinion. Ah, screw you. Uh, his skill is merely decent. I'm sure he doesn't put that on his LinkedIn profile. So let's not. Um. Okay. Who? Wait, what? Is he seriously suggesting he's about to pledge fealty to us? Oh, I see. He's at risk of losing this big war. What does he control? That. Yeah, 
Yeah, but don't forget we can't start wars. And we have enough troops and money to win that war. That's well worth it. And Gibraltar is interesting. Well, that's it. This is we he's going to court like we didn't start this war. That's a really nice new mechanic, that is. How does that work? What just happened? Did anything just happened? I'm confused. But I accepted, didn't I? Tactically coquettish. Absolutely. That's got to be a bug. That has to be a bug. That has to be a bug, surely. Oh! Right, so... No, see, that's just contract assistance. So I can do that at any point. Because that's part of... That's got to be bugged, surely, because something should have happened. Yeah, but we've been on a few days of tick here. Like we're well into August now, so if it was going to tick, the only thing I can think is we were... Aren't we currently on an activity? Uh, oh no, rip our good steward. Yeah, fine. Faddle, you can have it. Right, I think we are going to carry on doing this. Let's get Santiago converted. That's very odd. That must be a bug. On the other hand, I don't really want them getting more territory.
I mean, he keeps his title. He doesn't lose the title. He just has to send him a lot of gold. I'm less worried about it if that's all that's happening. Don't want to ask Head of Faith for gold. Because we are trying for a holy order. He's still merely decent. Go away, decent man. We do need to maybe hold a feast. The stew sea. In a drunken stumble, Count Alfald unlatched an enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall. Savory broth welled forth to cover half the room in a sea of stew. That went really weird. Right, on the plus side, bailiffs means we're now under our limit again. Yes, we got a daughter. No, she's got no traits, but at least our succession is safe. And what that does mean is we can now disinherit him. Because he should still have his... Yeah, so he's still heir to that title, which is what we want, but Uraka is now our player heir. Yeah, husband, husband loves a bit of the wacky-backy, I think. Now what we might want to think about... Let's get some more fertility going on. Who are you? A mere bad spy master. No way, dude. We are educating our son. What we do need to think about is whether we want to give Iraka a good education that's going to allow her to get some decent, interesting men at arms. In fact, I'm going to increase our Varangians up to size 2. So we should think about any cultures that are going to give our kids interesting men at arms units. Norman, for example, would be quite handy. Doesn't Norman give us armoured knights? Maybe not. I thought Norman gave us extras. Maybe it doesn't. No, hang on, doesn't it? It does, but it's, isn't it an era thing? Is it an era thing? I mean, that's really nice. We need 11 counties in Arabia, though. Which is not going to happen.
we want hobblers. Hobblers are very good. Root a Ab budra. Okay, so they are skirmishers. Get a hills bonus and a mountain bonus, which is good. Twenty-one, sixteen, twenty-one, ten. Right, remember that, chap. Someone write that down. Twenty-one, sixteen, twenty-one, ten. So if we were comparing that to skirmishers, we can get. I think that's better than them. Oh, so you don't have as much screen. But they are much better in attack. And I think we might benefit from that. They're better in attack and they're better in pursuit. And the thing is, we're, gonna, we're getting decent screen off of our Huskars. So I think we might want to find ourselves a Barani. To educate our daughter. So we can get some Abudras. So what that would mean we're looking for... Let's just double check there's no one else with interesting stuff around. I don't think there is. This is always worth doing, by the way, is, is... Oh no, we want Greek, because then we can get cataphracts. No, oh, actually, cataphracts are probably not great for us in this run, because they're not going to be great in the terrain. Yeah, we don't want cataphracts this run. Normally we want cataphracts, we don't want cataphracts. Can only get disadvantages in mountains and hills. Heavy infantry, 48-25, with no terrain effects. No terrain effects is actually quite interesting. So the reason no terrain effects is quite interesting is it means it doesn't have they don't have any negatives as much as any positives. So they're forty eight twenty five. If we were comparing them to Ah, uh, we've already got two types of heavy. We're already right for heavies. So I think Baranis is what we want. Oh, but we could get Longbowmen. Longbowmen are 31.10 versus our 28.10. It's not that much of a difference, really. And they get a Hill's damage bonus of plus 12. Our guys are getting forest boosts as well. I 
I mean, longbowmen would be nice, but I think they're required. I think we want either an English, Welsh, or Barani clever person, basically. So what we're looking for is someone ideally with the genius trait, because she's bland as fuck. She's not going to get any natural skills boost, so we need to give her the best education we possibly can. And we need them to either be... Barani Okay, he's 22 years old Trusting and patient and zealous they're not great for us Gregarious fickle and vengeful not the end of the world 47 You're not that far off being us being invited to invite you to court Might even be enough. Ah, oh, zero, you little shit. Would you like a sway him? If we get one sway on him, he'll 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 come to court. So one sway on him will do it. I still want to know what happened with this event and why it didn't fire. My steward Elphidil informs me that his chroniclers have returned from navigating and studying the naval technologies across the seas. He says that with funding we could have a new ship design that would outperform our neighbours and usher in an air of maritime supremacy for Castile. So I either get sunken silver I mean advanced maritime technology isn't that great I think we want to keep that money. I think that money is more useful to us. Because we are pushing for our holy order. Very close to the next stage. Zenzir? Right, I do. And be a good baby. Found a previous bug report on the bargain for fealty events so that's probably bugged. Yeah, I think maybe what it is is if you're on an event, um, it screws you. God damn it! Who reported me for shagging around? Who snitched? I mean, oh god, the teenagers all angsty about it. Teenagers all angsty about it. Well, just get over it, kid. Get over it. 
This is why you shouldn't have affairs with teenagers. They just get so emotionally involved. Yeah, I can imagine comics being a good resource for doing that. Any of these are going to give me piety. That gives me a bit of renown. This is surprisingly close, but I think we are going to still trigger there towards that. Like, granting a county would do it. Send a gift to an artifact would... If we really need to, we could gift people. Uh, what's our court settings like at the moment, actually? That's a good point. Let's have a look. It would be nice to stabilise at 7, I think. If we went lavish food... Right, that's where we are now. Baseline is 56. That'd push our baseline up to 7, I think. So let's do that. I think that's enough to keep us at level 7. Right, we'd have to get back to Devoted Servant to be able to... Right, you're not going to be called Gassenda because you are essentially going to be our heir. Um, well, there's a high chance you're going to be our heir. You're not an Araka. What's a good name, chat? You should do a CK3 mod that requires passing a Duolingo course of characters learning a language. That'd be amazing. Yeah, we could get... Should we get an Isabella in? It gets the name into the line then, doesn't it? We're not going to legitimise her yet. Oh, Munio wants to play chess with me. Fine. Um, and I'm being blackmailed by Alphide. I mean, at this point... We're not going to get that level of devotion back. So we might as well just go for Santiago. I think we might as well just go for Santiago. Building Santiago. Although he's probably not going to do much with the hook. If he forces himself onto my council... Isn't he already our steward? Yeah, so that's fine. Oh, fine, have the hook. Right, they might modify his contract, but whatever. Nine eight two. Oh, sorry, we didn't want to play chess with you. Oh, boo-hoo. How is our sway going? He should join our court. Yes, invite to court. Right, could you please... Will you convert? Will accept? Don't need to sway you anymore. 
do kind of want to keep you at court. So, is there a minor job we can give him? That he wouldn't be bad at? Bet you would be a decent court tutor. He would indeed. Now, if you can kindly not die until you've educated Isabella and at the very least converted her culture, that would be useful. Fuck you! lovers. I might try and seduce this dude, though. You do not have any traits. Go away. Yeah, I think we are going for the Cathedral at this point, because we're not going to get the two ranks back that we need to get a Holy Order. So we might as well just focus on shagging around a bit. Now what we do need to do is... We need to we watch for our husband being at the point of dying, which is dangerous. If we wanted to murder him... Right, okay, I reckon he's reasonably secure on his throne. Because if lots of people were going to join that, we'd know. So 9.50 to build that. We might as well ask Pope for gold. Because I think we need to be at least dutiful to be able to found a holy order. So let's just use it for this stuff. means we can start building that. I don't think we need to dabble. We've already got 95 score on it. I want Corona. Oh shit, yes. If he's excommunicated, I can take his title, can't I? Pretty certain I can revoke the title if he's excommunicated, but just in case, let's make sure it doesn't require me to also have a claim on it. Yeah, sure. We do want to create that duchy. Struggle. So interestingly, once you're on the conciliation, you can only go to compromise. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. I thought you still had the choice to divert it. This is the one we want to get. But you can only get that 
in the um, hostile stage. Oh, interesting. So that would do us. So you just need to be level of fame exalted among men. And have an alliance with all of them. Look at the amount of renown you get for doing that. How's the Hermaine against conciliation? Nice. Permanently disabled offensive holy wars between all involved and allows all of in That would be nice, to be fair. Need alliances and exalted among men. That we can probably get anyway, because we're gonna cut down on independent rulers. Right, we're 37. So I think now we've got that lover. We don't need that lover anymore. So I think we are probably going to flip to dip. Because we can still take the family focus. Which would give us our fertility. Which is what we need and want. So, Fabricate Hook would be kind of useful. So let's take Fabricate Hook. Then let's jump over to Diplomacy and take Family Focus. Of course it's yours, Yusuf. Of course it's yours. How could you possibly suspect? Yeah, okay, Solomon the Child is yours, but... You're not the father, Asurio. Go. Jesus, are we still shagging Asurio? Asurio, we're not even shagging you anymore, you emo teenager. Give it up, dude. Right, Santiago is building cool things. Let's focus on getting that claim. It's worth us carry on shagging the genius. Him we can split up with. Because we've got another few years in us. And we might throw out a genius fucking daughter. Who is technically legitimate. I feel like she's... Let's, she, let's go with Matilda. It was suggested earlier and we want to get some more good name, names into the line. And if someone wants to give me a good Spanish... Yeah, technically legitimate. The best kind of legitimate. Um, and if someone wants to give me a good kind of Spanish royal female name that we haven't got in the line already. Katerina. Katerina is decent. Katarina would work. I mean, if the consensus is on Katarina, we'll go for a Katarina. Let's go for a Kater Katerina. So you will very much be educated by your...
true father. Who is my lover. All problems will be vain, don't they? Dynastic legacy. Chance of reinforcing congenital traits. Marriage acceptance plus 30 is actually potentially quite useful for us in the nature of the things we're going for, but we need to do a lot of scheming. So I think we're going to go down Guile. I'm not sure Kateri gives us any decent benefits. Night effectiveness plus five, 15 is a big boost. Let's get Convergent Blood first. So, she is getting disinherited, as soon as we can afford to. I don't think we necessarily want to prison baby her, because we can use her for useful marriages. How to not all these counties, uh, or lose all these counties when you die. Um, so if you do exclamation mark CK3 guide, I have a good guide on how to worry about inheritance and not losing counties. The short version is don't treat CK3 like a conquest game because it isn't. Um, but I've got a video on that on that list that will talk to you about how inheritance works and ways to get rid of children if you need to get rid of children. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, short versions is disinheriting other people. Um, but genuinely, don't think of the game as being a game that is built around one person continually holding all titles. It's not how history worked. So it's not how the game works. It's not, CK3 is not a map painter. But yeah, you can do things like only have illegitimate children and then just only legitimize the one you want to make your ruler or like we're doing we've di we disinherited kids that we don't want to to do um but yeah basically have a look at my youtube series and it's only little short videos and just find the one in that that's on inheritance so I'll just be on that playlist and give it a watch and it'll give you some good tips hopefully that helps but yeah, like here, we want Princess Katerina here to inherit. So the good news is, she is illegitimate. But the reason we had her illegitimate was so that we could legitimise her if she needs to, and she's got better traits. We'd already disinherited Prince Johannes here, because we didn't want him in the line because we're playing female rulers. But this is the person we're likely to want to wear. Now the issue we're going to get is if we manage to have another son, another kid with our legit husband, and it's a boy, we're going to have issues. And that boy may find himself in prison. Um, that boy may find himself in fr prison fast. Oh god, I'm shagging the teenager again. God's sake, go away.
Right, it's one of Solomon, so it might be decent. But no one must ever know. Uh, I confess my infidelity. Because the danger is if it's a boy and we'd not revealed it, it would end up in the line of inheritance. So this way we can still at least legitimise the kid if we find we need to legitimise the kid. I know we really need to stop sleeping with the drama llama. He's just so needy. He's not even married. He's 23 years old and he's not married. But like, dude, get over it. Get over yourself. Priest still likes us, that's the main thing. Santiago converts culture in four years. His realm is, should fraction nicely when he dies. Ah, oh, she's intelligent. She's a decent spare. She's a better spare than... Princess Uraka is. So, we should be able to disinherit her soon, which is good. We might as well ask... You want to... a relaxing activity? Um, suspicious, but... fine. My vassal, Count Pedro, approaches me in private with clear doubt in his eyes. Someone call a priest. We need a new spy master. You can indeed be that spy master. Oh, was that Munio? Munio finally died. Oh, we're never not being a sinner, so just, yeah. Give me the gold, Pope. Right, we should probably spend that. No, what, 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 what was that? What? What? Um don't really care who educates you, but you can have my former lover. Oh, Thadron, you want me to try and kill him, the teenager? And we can try. We're not going to have a good chance of it, though. Well, we can invite her. And we can push him onto support schemes. Yeah, you've got a silly hat and your skill is merely decent. Go away. Uh, spying holes would be useful. Right, we should up our men at arms while we've got the cash. Let's get some house cars up to three. They're fine, they're fine. All the engines, five, four, five. There we go. Go proper Henrietta the seventh, the eighth. Yeah, could do. Um, yes, absolutely. You 
you are the only person on this continent who could theoretically do me in, but when you die, your titles are going to split very nicely. Even keeping humble is good for us. We never actually picked what he was going down, but diplomacy is fine. Fuck the prego. That kid may end up in jail. Um... We should now be able to disinherit her. But Katarina's two, so we don't need to worry about her yet. See you later, Fabian. So Katarina is our new heir, and she is a genius, which is what we want. We're going to be a poet. Hey, we're a poet. Before we pick this... Right, she's going to be a genius and get a good education. So she's already got... Seven... In stewardship. She's being educated by him. She's likely to get an intrigue boost. Not likely to get a lot of stewardship boosts. Right, we're going to push her onto stewardship. I'll become the owner of the Poigal Warhammer. No, go away. Um... That means that now when we take Groom to rule, it should boost our stewardship. Uh, game, please. game? Why didn't you boost my daughter Katarina? Yeah, it might be that she needs to be slightly older. Maybe it has a lower age limit? We do, however, now have the Cathedral de Santa Iago, which should show up on the map. There it is, look. How cool is that? Yeah, maybe they need to not be toddlers to get the boost. Oh, God. Fine, in you come. Serve me well, blah, blah, blah. We have a scaly daughter with no traits. I know what I'm doing, Rodrigo. I mean, we could just disinherit her. It's not going to cost us that much. We are generating enough. I think we just disinherit her. She may be scaly, but we can still marry her off. I don't think it is. that The thing is, all of our people really like us. Okay, Katarina is charming. That's probably a good... Anything. And I know we're educating her on stewardship, but... Shit! He died a bit too early for me.
I was hoping Malik would um, make it to adulthood. Because I was going to give him a duchy title within our realm and then we'd have inherited that. But it could be worse. The important thing is he's now a Hemena. He's Catholic and he's Basque. So that should now... Now it's still male only but he should at least be able to change it. Yeah, that's interesting. It means the groom to rule boost must fire based on um, what their natural inclination is. That's one of the two things their natural inclination is towards, which is good to know. But also, I don't think that's bad. And we definitely want her on stewardship boost because we need her to have decent stewardship. Um, apparently, her. Let's not murder her. She is inbred, but... Yeah, can we get an alliance with him? We need to protect him, basically. I mean, we are his guardian, so the good news is he's in our court still. Don't really need to marry again. I could marry him to... What's a little bit... It'd only be slightly related. It'd only be like 50% related. I don't really need to. I just need to marry him to someone... Well, that's it. The Rebellion's not going to get him, because he'll be in our territory. The real danger is he converts. Marry me, kid. Probably let him choose his own wife. Could really do with this old dude dying. Man. Trap Ridge. months yet. COVID boo. Thank you very much for the subscription. I want this claim on Corona. Vizcaya is currently our dump duchy, but I still want to know what that building is. Maybe it is for the um, other religion. I don't think we're going to pull off... Um right, we now have a claim on Karana. Apparently he's enough back in the favours. Uh, Pope liked us more. That wouldn't be enough to swing him back into doing it. Can't fabricate the hook until... I wouldn't be viewed as a tyrant. There's a 76% chance he accepts. Hundred percent chance he objects. Sex. 
Dude, give me that title. Thank you very much, sir. I uh, only caught a glimpse on screen earlier, but isn't a sibling manager Rick with, uh, risk with the consolidation bloodline thing until the next tier that reduces? Yeah, I mean, there'd have to be a really good reason for us to do it. And there isn't. Like, the main reason to do it would be to... If we could basically force him to get to marry our ruler, really, to be honest, there's not really a point in doing it otherwise. Essentially, he's going to be of our dynasty. He's also going to be of a junior rank to us. What I was hoping to do was create the duchy over here. Give it to him, and then when he inherited this, he would stay as my vassal, because he already had a duchy rank title within my kingdom. But obviously that's not happened. So given that that hasn't happened, the best thing we can do now, now that he's managed to get himself a kingdom tier, is he's of our dynasty. He is just get to a point, hopefully what we need him ideally to do, Ideally, what we need him to do is convert that kingdom to not have male-only confederate, confederate partition. That's basically what we need now. Which he should theoretically do, because we did raise him as Basque. But we'll see. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, George Salt. Yeah, a reminder for anyone new here or who does struggle with CK3, as I said earlier, I do have a really nice play-along guide you can do for CK3. Um, with just individual short 5-10 to 10 minute videos that just cover all key concepts in a way that hopefully doesn't over-explain them. Right, so stuff we are keeping hold of. We're keeping hold of these because this is really our source of our our manpower. If we're going to get rid of anything around here, we're going to get rid of Zamora. Because Segovia has the Alcazar of Segovia, which is pretty immense. So we're probably best off Upgrading some of these. I think we're probably going to give away Zamora, but we don't need to right now. We're, we're generating enough gold. I know we're only about the main limit, but it's fine. In fact, we can easily remedy that by finding a really old husband. Let's find ourselves an infertile husband who has high stewardship. Doesn't need to be that high stewardship, to be honest. There we go, that sorts out our domain. Yeah, it's just because we've just taken the um, title. Got a naval next month. <coughs> so you can see what I mean about how this is really good. Like, this is... As a Catholic ruler, this is the bit you want to control. Because you're going to get the Farron Brigantum, which gives you a tax boost. You've got ports there and harbours. You've got Santiago giving you a tax boost. You've got this, which is going to give you a tax boost as well. So... This is an absolute money maker of a province if you build it right. So what we're focusing this province on is very much on income. Right, that's going to get farms and fields. This is our absolute money maker province, basically. 
trained healer, you say? I mean, you're a herbalist. You're not that well trained. You are still merely decent, my friend. Go away. So we will lose that, which is annoying. Uh, we'll try and explore them ourselves. We're absolutely not pulling off that murder scheme, but Badrin cashed in his points, so we do it. Right, now we cancel that. The rules are if we get discovered, we're allowed to cancel it, so we're cancelling that. So what we want to think about is other ways we can get people onto titles. So for example, I mean, remembering our objective here, yeah, increase in Crown Authority would, but um, we need Royal Prerogative, and um, annoyingly, the person who's doing our research has not gone for Royal Prerogative. They have now, so in 29 years, we can stop stuff inheriting out. It's the downside of not being ahead of Bass Culture. We will get that. Okay. I assume he is having rebel problems. I don't think we can help. Yeah, his title is the one we're going to have to try and inherit back in. Could we diverge our culture to get control of it? No, but we now have... Well, we could, we would do that, but we only needed one more province, so... And we are now on Royal Prerogative. Now, what we should probably do is... Opinion gain from sending a gift. And then actually maybe flip onto this. A band of several hundred pale-skinned Sakaliba, enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe, have escaped the realm of my acquaintance, Amir Abad. Talk, uh, talk as he is, he may about how treasured they were in his armies and his harem. They have braved many de dangers to seek freedom in my land. We all have scars, their leader Yarapolk tells me, on our bodies or deep inside. But we are strong and determined. We long for some land of our own, where we can speak our ancestral tongue. If you let us set in, settle in the city of Betanzos, we would work hard to make it prosper. Um... So they are Ilmenia. Ooh, hello. We could get some Druzina.
I think we'll let them stay. Forty-three is a jolly big number. How good is 43 in relation to... I mean, it's not far off our Varangians, you know. I don't think we've won it right now. Because we're going... We could get him to educate Infanta Isabella and keep her in the kingdom. Which means we've then got Drizina as an option. As long as we just keep her around. And we could train a future kid in it. We're going Barani first because we want the Abu Draws. Because that gives us our unique skirmishes. There's basically no reason not to. He's a eunuch, apparently. It's a shame, because he's beautiful. He might, might accept. Send him a gift, you will. And I'd like you to educate. Educate my scaly kid. Speaking of... We need to disinherit Scaly Kid. If we can become a herbalist, that's a real big boost. And we're now a witch. Now, I don't think we necessarily want to pass witch down. Somewhat dangerous being a witch, but it's worth it for the learning boosts. Oh, chastity belt artifact. Nice. That's going to be really handy. We now have um, the Chastity Belt Artifact. This is the other thing for those of you worried about how you control your inheritance. If you can get hold of the Chastity, chastity Belt Artifact, you just get instant control of your fertility. It's fantastic. That is extraordinarily useful for us. What are the options for non-death power transfer to an heir? Um, one of the faiths, one of the faith the tenets you can pick allows for it. I can't remember which one it is. One of these allows for it. I'm 
I can't remember which one it is. can remember. I'm sure there's, there's a tenet that lets you do it. Uh, Endura, that's probably what I'm thinking of. It's allows you to basically commit suicide whenever you want adherents can decide to end their life when old and capable of near death doing so does not incur any of the normal penalties from suicide so that is that is the one I was thinking of you can basically go I want to die I don't think I was thinking of a different one Maybe there is another one I was thinking of as well. No, I think that was probably it. I think it was Endura I was thinking of. So you can reform your way into having a an element like that. The other thing you can do, and this does work, which is a bit silly, so you can't abdicate in favor of your heir. What you can do is force a vassal war against your tyranny and surrender. Because if it's the right type of war, what they ask you to do is step down. And when you step down, your heir takes over. But I save this. Let's see if I can show you. Because what, what's, what's the time? Oh, we're on Iron Man, aren't we? I can't do it on this. Um, but yes, so what you can do is force a war where the outcome for you surrendering is you losing your titles and you're stepping down. And that will put your heir on the throne. Now, it will also give all of the people on the other side a hook against you that they may then use but it's actually a very handy mechanic for if you want to get your heir on the throne for a particular reason very very quickly so there are times it is beneficial to do basically like I try and avoid doing it because it feels very cheesy as a way of doing it but it, it does work yeah, there's a high-level stress event to ab abdicate as well, but you're, you're then really riding your luck about getting that stress event to happen, I think. <laughs> Mr. J. Darlington, thank you very much for the sub. It's very generous of you. That is very generous of you indeed.